talk a little bit about uh, Chopin before the music. Like, who, who, who was Chopin before the music? Like, on transitioning into school and, you know, different things like that. Well, I was in the Navy, you know what I'm saying? And um, I ended up um, going to the Navy. I was going to go to school. The reason why I went to the Navy is because I originally wanted to go to art school. And um, I was either going to go to Savannah College of Art and Design or I was going to go to um, Art Institute. But the thing is, you know, I had a chance to go to both, you know. However, I didn't have the extra money to go stay anywhere on campus or stay in anywhere around there because you know, it was really expensive. So instead of doing that, I decided to go into the military, went to the U.S. Navy, um, stacked some of my bread up, you know. And um, I ended up getting out. I got um, actually separated, you know what I'm saying? Uh, but uh, after that, I moved to Denver. And uh, that's when I really started to record again, you know. I had a gap in my music when I was recording. Initially, I started back in high school on a black top, actually. You know what I'm saying? We just, just freestyling, you know? And uh, it was just an everyday thing until, you know, the, the teachers and whatnot broke everything up. You know, like, back at that time, I was a skateboard, so I used to meet people from all different, you know, Areas of town or, or the state or wherever, you know what I mean? Because so many people used to do that, you know, so different type of music. And uh, I started recording back in like 11th grade, actually going into the studio. I made a lot of music, end up um, linking up with Mac Miller, rest in peace, you know what I'm saying? Um, I never met him in the flesh, but you know, um, like, I actually built with him on the phone before, man, and talked with him. And um, he actually told me how to hit up uh, Carter with Sledging. And um, I just learned how to build rapport with people, you know what I'm saying? And I started getting beats from them and um, uh, beat up the beat quarter, you know what I'm saying? I got a beat from him, you know what I'm saying? A few beats from him. Um, and my name at that time was LKO, Local Knockout. Talk about, uh, you know, first, you know, transitioning from the, from the Navy and getting out into the, uh, the entrepreneur. Well, first of all, did you always know you was going to be an entrepreneur growing up and stuff like that? Yeah, I always did because um, I never liked asking for nothing. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, I never liked having expectations. I, I wanted what I wanted, and then when I didn't get what I wanted, I knew I had to work for it. So I said, you know, I always had a mindset of how can I do something to get some more money or how can I sell something and you know I always knew I didn't like working for people too much because I couldn't work as many hours as I want to I had a cap on what I could make you know so I, I always said let me take this money and try to flip it up I still do that to this day you know what I'm saying I flip sneakers and, and all kind of things man you know I always had it ever since um, high school, you know, and that, that even contributed to my music. Uh, uh, yeah. Talk about, you know, uh, first, you know, transition and moving from, uh, you know, the Navy and just moving to different areas. You know, what, 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 was some, what were some of the things that you were picking up on culturally and uh, some of the knowledge you were picking up on the road? Uh, the ground. The ground, the consistency. You know, um, and networking, you know what I'm saying? Networking got to be like the number one thing, you know what I'm saying? You got to talk to people. You can't stay in your bubble and be like, yo, hear my music, hear my music. Like, real talk. Ain't nobody like no spam. I really don't like spam, really, you know what I'm saying? It's a more creative way to how to get your music out there and it's just being yourself. You know what I'm saying? You got to have the people and know the people that you want to talk to. I know the people I want to talk to because they like real culture. You know, so when I was in the Navy and I, and I left, you know, I met people from different cultures, you know, different places around the world in the same city I was in. And some people had more money and some people didn't have money. Like, I met, um, what was her name? I think her name was Leanne. She was a singer. She was a homeless sister. She was on the street. But, man, she could sing 
like louder than what Mariah Carey, like she had a strong voice, like man, she was incredible man, and I was like yo, if I was an executive and I had the paper like that, I would sign you right now, on the dotted line, let me get you in the studio tonight, you know what I mean? But um, I don't know what ever happened to it man, you know, but that always encouraged me, you know what I'm saying, even I've been in the studio with like side three and um and got a 360 degree revolving studio. You know what I'm saying? It's expensive as hell, but it's, at that time I was like, damn, I'm really back to doing what I had to do. Then life happened, you know. Life always happens, you know. And um, I learned about life from seeing other people how they handle it. And at that time, I was going up through there, you know what I'm saying, living out there, I had got with a brother who had, you know, taught me, you know, the science of what knowledge itself was. And um, that actually helped me to see music and everything else in a whole different way. You know what I'm saying, it's, it put like a magnifying glass on whatever you're looking at, so you're not confused. You have a clear picture of what you see.